All right, let's solve an equation using separation of variables. So here, the first step is to cross multiply to get y e to the minus x squared dy equals x secant of y dx. And the main idea is, let's try to put all the y's on one side and all the x's on the other side. So in this case, since we already have y and dy, let's divide by e of minus x squared, e of minus x squared. On the other hand, since here we have all the x's on the right hand side, let's just divide by secant y. And very important, whenever you're dividing by something, make sure that something is not zero. Because sometimes you might miss constant solutions from this procedure. But here, there's no problem because e of minus x squared is always positive. And secant, it's also never zero because it's one over cosine. And in fact, what this simplifies to is y over secant of y, which is y cosine of y. So on the one hand, we have y cosine of y dy. On the other hand, we get x e to the minus x squared dx. Because here the secants cancel out. I see, can't you? All right, so that's good. We put all the y's on one side, all the x's on the other side. And so the next step is simply to integrate. So integral of y cosine of y equals integral of x e to the minus x squared. And well, let's treat both sides separately. So on the one hand, integral of y cosine of y dy, that's just cause for integration by parts. So u is y dv is cosine of y, and then du is 1, and then v is sine of y, sine prime is cosine, and then z like Zorro, whoosh. and what you get is y sine of y minus integral of 1 times sine of y, so minus integral of sine of y dy, which then simplifies to y sine of y plus cosine of y. And no constant, because we'll put a constant here anyway. So no need to have 2 here. And so now let's integrate x e to the minus x squared, but that just calls for simple substitution integral x e to the minus x squared dx. Well, in that case, u is minus x squared, du is minus 2x dx. So x dx, it's minus 1 half du. So this becomes integral of e of u minus 1 half du, which then becomes minus 1 half e of u, so e of minus x squared, plus a constant. So now we can put our constant, and then mm, what we're left with is, well, we do have equality between those two things. So y sine of y plus cosine of y equals e of minus, uh, minus 1 half e of minus x squared plus a constant. So let's just equate both sides. So then what we get, again, y sine of y plus cosine of y equals minus 1 half e of minus x squared plus a constant. Now here's some depressing news. You might say, can we solve for y in terms of x? Unfortunately, not explicitly, but we can leave it in this implicit form. So at least around some points that might form a little curve, but Again, this is really the best we can do. However, the good news is we can still solve for that constant using our initial condition. 
So I think we were given y of 0 equals pi over 2. What this means is that if x equals 0, y is pi over 2. So then what we get is pi over 2 sine of pi over 2 plus cosine of pi over 2 equals minus 1 half e of 0 plus a constant and sine of pi over 2 that's 1 so we're left with pi over 2 cosine of pi over 2 is 0 so we leave it like that equals minus 1 half plus a constant so then what we get is a constant is 1 plus pi over 2 and we can plug this in here 1 plus pi over 2 and as I said then we're done and we don't leave home happy but it's okay because again this is an implicit equation and probably has some very nice curve I invite you to check it out all right I hope you like this if you want to see more math please make sure to subscribe to my channel thank you very much